Welcome back. In this video, I'll be looking at 1.1 index laws. 1.1 represents chapter 1, section 1 of the Pearson A level maths, pure maths year 1 textbook. Right, so I'm going to start off this particular section by looking at the term a to the power m. What is the a called? Well, the a is called the base of the term. What is the n called? Well, the n is called the power of the term. You can also call it the index of the term or the exponent of the term. Now we have some important laws of indices over here, which you have covered at GCSE level. Let's quickly recap these laws of indices. The first one, a to the power m multiplied by a to the power n. We have the same base, but multiplying, hence we need to add the powers. Therefore, this simplifies to a to the power m plus n. The second one, a to the power m divided by a to the power n. Again, we have the same base, but this time we are dividing. Hence, we need to subtract the powers, giving us a to the power m minus n. The third one, I call this the bracket law. So we have a to the power m in brackets to the power n. In this particular case, we need to multiply the inside power with the outside power, giving us a to the power m n. The final law, a b in bracket to the power n. Over here, we need to raise a to the power n and the b to the power n. In this particular section, I'll also be covering expanding and simplifying single brackets. Let's have a look at some examples. Example number one, simplify these expressions. We have part A, B, C and D. Let's start off with part A. Before I simplify part A, there is a very important keyword that I would like to go through. And that keyword is coefficient. A possible question in the exam could be, what is the coefficient of the a to the power 4 term? The coefficient of the a to the power 4 term is just the number in front of the a to the power 4 term. In this case, 2. Another question could be, what is the coefficient of the a to the power 5 term? The coefficient of the a to the power 5 term is just the number in front of the a to the power 5 term. In this case, 3. Okay, let's simplify this particular expression. The first step is to multiply 2 by 3, which is 6. We have the same base. We can write a. Because we're multiplying, we add the powers. So 4 plus 5 is 9. Part b, 2a cubed in brackets to the power 2 divided by 2a cubed. We're going to first apply the bracket law. So we take 2, we've raised it to the power 2, giving us 4. We've got a. The inside power is 3, we multiply by the outside power which is 2, 3 times 2 is 6, divided by 2a cubed. So now we need to use the division rule. Firstly, 4 divided by 2 is 2. We've got a. Because we're dividing, we subtract the powers, so 6 take away 3 is 3. Part c. x cubed, y to the power 7 in brackets to the power 2. We need to use the bracket law to simplify this term. So, first of all, we can write x. We take the power of x, which is 3, and we multiply by 2, which is 3 times 2, giving us 6. Then we can write y. The power of y is 7. We multiply by 2, giving us 7 times 2, which is 14. Part D. The fraction notation represents division so we have to use the division rule for indices the first step is to take 21 and divide by 7 giving us 3 then we can write a and we can write b we've got a cubed and over here we have a the power of this a is 1 because we're dividing we subtract the powers so 3 take away 1 is 2 b to the power 7 and b to the power 4. We subtract the powers because we're dividing. 7 take away 4 is 3. Example 2. Expand and simplify part A and part B. Let's have a look at part A. I'm going to start off by expanding this single bracket. So I've got 4 and multiply by C. 
4 times c is 4c. Then I take the 4 and I multiply by positive 3d squared, giving me positive 12d squared. Minus 3, I multiply by 2c. Okay, so minus 3 multiplied by 2c gives me minus 6c. Minus 3 multiplied by positive d squared gives me minus 3d squared. A quick recap, if you have a negative and you multiply by a positive, this gives you a negative. If you have a positive and you multiply by a negative, this gives you a negative. If you have two negatives and you multiply them together, this gives you a positive. Important, okay? So now we're going to simplify this expression by collecting like terms. So let's simplify uh, the C terms. We've got 4C subtract 6C, giving us a negative 2C. Positive 12D squared minus 3D squared gives us positive 9D squared. Moving on to part B. I'm going to start off by expanding this single bracket. So I've got 3X squared and multiply by 2X giving me 6x cubed. Then I take 3x squared and I multiply by positive 1, giving me positive 3x squared. Now, moving on, I've got negative 5x squared. I multiply it by 3x, giving me minus 15x cubed. Negative 5x squared multiplied by negative 4. Be careful, when you multiply two negatives, it gives us a positive. So in this particular case, we have positive 20x squared. Okay, we can now simplify this expression by collecting like terms. So I've got 6x cubed and I've got negative 15x cubed. 6x cubed minus 15x cubed is minus 9x cubed. Then I've got positive 3x squared, positive 20x squared. 3x squared plus 20x squared is plus 23x squared. Example number 3. Simplify the fraction 9x to the power 5 minus 5x cubed divided by, okay, or you could say fraction 3x. Right, now to simplify this, there's a very important rule that I need to go through. And that rule is as follows. If you have a take away b all over n, this can be split into two fractions, and the two fractions are a over n, b over n, okay? And then we just stick in the operation in the middle. In this particular case, the operation is negative. Okay, so a minus b over n is equal to a over n minus b over n. I'm going to be using this particular rule to simplify this fraction. So my first step is to write 9x to the power 5, over 3x minus, okay, the operation used over here is minus, 5x cubed over 3x. Okay, so we have a fraction which represents a division, so I can use the division rule for indices. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and then over here the power of x is 1, I can subtract the powers, 5 take away 1 is 4, so 3x to the power 4, minus 5 divided by 3, I can write that as a fraction 5 over 3. You can't simplify this further. Uh, over here we have x cubed, over here we have x. The power of x over here is 1. Okay, so I can write x. 3 take away 1 is 2. Okay, so that there completes example 3. What is the coefficient of the x to the power 4 term in this particular scenario? Well, it's just 3. What is the coefficient of the x to the power 2 term? In this particular scenario, it is not 5 over 3, but minus 5 over 3. Don't forget that operation. Very, very important. So this completes section 1.1 index laws. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.